Hey guys, today I have a new challenge. I'm going to try and beat Minecraft while constantly being pursued by this little guy. He's completely invincible and has an infinite follow range, so I can never shake him. I also die in one hit if he touches me. I think I'll name him Hank. Anyways, into the video. I spawned and surrounded by leaves. After breaking them, I found myself in a village with Hank already right on my tail. I had to be quick. I ran into a village house and looted the chest. Inside the chest, I found three iron ingots, an iron shovel, and an iron ingot. After that, I quickly left the village, just to get some distance on Hank. I needed to find iron so that I could eventually make diamond armor. Just because the silverfish was my main threat didn't mean it was the only thing that could kill me. Luckily, I just so happened to spot an entrance to a cave. I ran in and mined some iron. I mined further into the cave. However, Hank caught up to me. I quickly ran away from him and parkoured my way to safety. With Hank hot on my tail, I ran through the mine shaft. I stopped to kill a cave spider and got a lucky drop. After which, I stumbled upon a diamond vein. I mined the diamonds, then escaped the cave. After escaping both the cave and Hank, I made a set of diamond tools and armor. I even had time to make myself a nice house, but it was getting late, so I decided to head for bed. I can't believe I had forgotten my goal. Hank was still out there. I took one last look at my house and ran off to find another portal. I took the time to save a villager from a zombie and kept going. I had to beat the game. I made it to the nether portal, but I didn't have a flint and steel on me. I had to go back to the villager outpost and hope there's one chest. I had to be fast. Hank could be closing in on me right now. I had no clue where he was. Luckily, there was one right in the chest. I then made a few villager trades and went back to the portal to light it up and enter the nether. When I entered the nether, I found Hank right on my tail. I ran away quickly looting the chest, but I was in the stronghold. This was perfect. I made a few parkour jumps to get away from him, but it didn't matter. He kept up with me. Every time I turned around, Hank was right there behind me, so I had to run as fast as I could. If I could get to the portal before him, I think I could clutch out this run. I finally found the portal room, but Hank had beaten me there. However, it looks like he wanted to talk first. I found myself in Hank's realm. This was nothing like I'd ever seen in Minecraft, but I knew I could win. I'm gonna kick your ass. Hank showed himself to me and immediately sent out his flying freaks against me. They rained arrows down on me, but luckily I was able to dodge them. Next up came the lightning. I was able to barely outrun it, but this was getting dangerous. The lightning got faster and faster, but I was able to outrun it. Eventually, he tried to entomb me and I got out just in time. Finally, he sent his army of children after me. I ran and ran as far as I could, but they kept cornering me, and they kept coming in higher and higher numbers. I realized what needed to be done. I used the golden apple from earlier, and used it to heal myself, and make it so I could defeat the bobbies. I slaughtered them until there was only one left, and then there were none. I had earned Hank's respect, and he let me go. I found myself standing in front of the end portal. I just had to jump in, and I'd be in the end. I finally found myself in the end. I couldn't believe it. I was free. Hank had left me alone. The Ender Dragon was defeated. All I had to do was make it to the portal safely. I could see it. I sprinted towards it as fast as I could. And there it was. I just had to jump in, and the run would be over. 